Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. I've just currently filmed a Poundland and Pound Stretch haul, so if you haven't seen that, go and check that out. I'll leave it somewhere so if I look the same I'm sorry but today I've actually got a Mist Come Luna unboxing so I think I've unboxed some of their stuff on my channel before but basically Mist Come Luna is an independent brand I love their items and I'm actually a subscriber to their pin subscription which you basically pay each month I think it's like six pound with two pound postage and they send you some pins each month which is amazing so I've got my January pins here. I have seen a few spoilers online, but I'm not too fussed. And I also put an order in. I've got another package here. I put this order in on Boxing Day. So I'm gonna do the pin description first, just to get this one out of the way. They always come in really cute little boxes and it's one of their printed ones again. Let's have a look. So it has a great start. So when you open it, you've got their gorgeous logo at the top there. You always get one of their little business cards, which has all the information on the back. I will leave their website and everything linked down below. Oh, and then this month, it comes in two little silvery gray packages, which is cute. You always get two pins. I wasn't the biggest fan of last month's pins, in all honesty, they're a bit too girly for me. So let's see. Oh, oh wow. Okay, that's different. First of all, I've not really seen many pin badges of this shape. Obviously, I've seen circular pin badges, but not like a kind of donut, but this is really, really nice. Ooh, I love the writing around the edge. It's very kind of basic. It's just gray and black, which is definitely a mood. I really like that, and that is a very good sized pin. It's a little bit different. I like that first one. Very happy with. They're quite heavy, so they're a really good quality. Oh, okay. I love this one. So we have a skull. I want to say a ram skull, but I probably am very, very wrong. It's struggling to focus, but as you can see, it is a black, white, and silver. I prefer silver to gold. Animal skull, which I love. I love animal skulls. I think this is so cool. My camera is being shite. I absolutely love that. I think that is gorgeous. I think this one's my favourite, but I think this one is absolutely brilliant. So this month's pin description I'm very, very happy with. Kind of makes up the fact I wasn't over the moon with last month's pins, but yeah, I love these. I'm very, very happy with this month's pin description, so they will probably be on my Instagram. So moving on to the parcel. The main reason as to why I put the order in is there was a few items I knew I wanted, but then Alex's birthday is coming up and when this goes live i believe it is actually his birthday when this video is going live so hopefully this won't spoil anything so there's quite a lot in here so the first thing i'm going to pull out is the biggest and it's actually an item of clothing i'll just leave all prices on the screen it's just a little bit easier because i can't remember but all of these from what i can remember were in the sale so it is like a baseball oh it's a nice good size thank god what size did i get this in i got this in a large because i like my tops and stuff to be a little bit bigger 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 i love this it's a fruit of the loom t-shirt quite basic i've never had any issues with fruit of the loom they do sometimes shrink but we don't tumble dry stuff anyway it's a really nice size the, i think it's printed on yeah it's like a really soft print so you can't really feel it which is nice it just says sinister miss come luna soul with a witch's broom kind of reminds me of like an old tavern or pub logo but yeah i'm very happy with that and it was a bargain too so quality seems great there's no loose stitching or anything so i'm very very happy with that so this is the first thing i've got for alex he doesn't really have any pins that i'm aware of and like i've just mentioned the mystical luna pins are really good so this is sharpen up your pin game i know alex would like a dagger tattoo so this is a step towards that this is a really really cute dagger pin i don't want to open it so i'm going to leave a picture of it on the screen but this is a really nice size it's got like a chain link around it cobweb a rose and the dagger it's got a nice denim jacket and things like that like i think he'd like putting stuff like this on and it's subtle it's not super girly so Happy birthday <laughs> Okay, then the next two things I got for him come in their little Miss Come Luna velvet bag. So it's got like a silver print on it. He doesn't have any rings, but I know that he would like some. So I picked him up some rings. I just hope to God they fit. Cause I know his ring fingers sizes, ring size, what? I know some of his finger sizes, that sounds really weird. So I've just gone for what I think would be right. So the first one is this amazing silver and black 
Ross ring. It's probably not going to show up well. And it's really heavy. It's really weighted. It's a very good quality. And hopefully, Alex will like it. Yeah, again, I paid next to nothing for these. Their sale was amazing. So hopefully, he will like that. And then I also got him this one. Very Illuminati kind of style. It's just a big silver chunky ring. But it's like a more of a gunmetal kind of silver. It's just got an eye on it. Absolute bargain. So hopefully he can start growing his ring collection. So we also got another little logo card in there. And then the final thing, I have no idea what's in here because these are some of their mystery goodie bags. These, I believe, are two pound and you don't know what's in them. It can be anything. My main concern is if it's a ring, it feels massive. So it's probably not gonna fit me because I'm pretty sure it can be either a ring, one of their pin badges, things like that. And obviously they don't know my ring size, so I've got a feeling that they've sent maybe rings, pin badges or earrings, but I think they might have sent me rings in Alex's sizes. So if they had, that's great, Alex can just have them. But yeah, I thought I would buy some and unbox them on camera. So I'm gonna do the thinnest feeling one. It's one of their rings. It's one that I've wanted for a while. Oh, actually. It fits me. I am so happy. Oh, uh, okay. So it is basically one of their triple moon rings. And as you can see, it is their silver and black one, which is right up my street. It is gorgeous. And the best thing is it fits me. I don't know why I'm showing you this hand. I'm so happy. Oh my God. See, this is what I thought could have been a downside. If they send you rings and stuff, they're not gonna know your ring size. So I think it is just products that they've not sold that people could just get a chance to buy and stuff. And yeah, there could be that unfortunate chance they will send you something that doesn't fit. But I've just got very lucky and got one of the rings that I wanted and it fits me. First one done. Then the second one. Ooh, maybe a pin. Oh. Oh. Okay. I've got another one. But this one is the... It's kind of like a silvery, pearly kind of one. Like an opalescent one. And I don't know if it's the same size. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's an ML. Oh no, they're the same size. So it's going to fit me either way. Okay, I obviously won't wear them like this, but how cool is that? So obviously I've got two of the same, but I'm not mad about that because they're two, they're different technically. They both fit me, which is amazing. I'm happy so far for two pounds for the rings that I wanted or have wanted. I'm not complaining. This one feels also like a ring, but it feels quite big. This is another ring that I've wanted, but I think it's a bit too big, but I think it'll be too small for Alex. It's gonna really struggle to pick this up, but basically it's one of their silver flat rings and it has two roses like this. I will leave a picture on the screen. It is gorgeous, but let me try it on my middle finger because that's my biggest one. It's a little bit too big for me on all of my fingers and I've got a feeling it's gonna be too small for Alex. He could always try it on again. For <laughs> For two pound each, I've just got three amazing rings that I have had my eye on for ages. I kind of want to go on there and buy like seven more now. So overall, I am very, very happy with these purchases. The only downside, it does take a while to come. My Mr. Come Luna pin badges came very quickly. They always come within the first few days of the month, which in January is a little bit harder than it being New Year, but they are, that came really quickly. However, the actual order I placed took maybe eight working days which is fine it does stay on their website that you need to allow a certain amount of time for them to make certain things to parcel things up to ship to you so it is all stated online and it did actually come within those few days but i think from the day i ordered it it was probably like two and a half weeks but that's with christmas and new year as well so please bear in mind that they do have a slight wait time on their orders it's not going to come within like a day but it is all on their website they do state that which is completely fine amazing absolutely amazing it couldn't be happier if you want to support an independent brand but not be disappointed 
they're always a great company to go for. So yeah, Miss Kamaluna, thank you so much. I absolutely adore my mystery packages and everything's been brilliant. So thank you so much. But thank you so much for watching. Please give it a massive thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you are not. I'll leave all my social media linked down below as well. So feel free to head on over there and check me out. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.